Here is an exam style question on partial fractions and binomial expansion. Given that 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 over x plus 1 x minus 3 is identical to a plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x minus 3, part a, find the values of the constants a, b and c. Please pause the video, have a go at part a and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part a. The numerator in this fraction, the coefficient of x squared, is 3. In the denominator, the coefficient of x squared is 1. Since 3 is more than 1, generally speaking, we have an improper fraction. So before we split into partial fractions, we have to use polynomial division. Notice that this fraction is identical to a plus this plus this. Now, this a is called the quotient. Now, to find the quotient, we have to use polynomial division. This is why we do polynomial division before we split into partial fractions. Right, so that's all clarified. Let's move on. I'm going to carry out polynomial division. Inside, I've got 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. And on the outside, I've got this double bracket expanded. So I've got x squared minus 3x plus x is minus 2x minus 3. So 3x squared divided by x squared is 3. 3 multiplied by this quadratic is 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. So I can subtract these two polynomials. 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. 4x minus minus 6x is 10x. Minus 7 minus minus 9 is minus 7 plus 9, which is plus 2. So this is called the quotient. This is the remainder. This is the divisor. The divisor in factorized form is x plus 1, x minus 3. So the improper fraction, 3x squared plus 4x minus 7, over x plus 1, x minus 3, is equal to quotient plus remainder over divisor. So we have 3 plus 10x plus 2 over x plus 1, x minus 3. So we know straight away that a, the quotient, is equal to 3. Now we need to set this equal to b over x plus 1 plus c over x minus 3. So we have 10x plus 2 over x plus 1, x minus 3, is equal to b over x plus 1 plus c over x minus 3. Cross multiply these two fractions to combine them. So we've got b lots of x minus 3 plus c lots of x plus 1 all over x plus 1, x minus 3. Since this fraction is equal to this fraction, we can set the numerators equal to each other. So I've got 10x plus 2 is equal to b lots of x minus 3 plus c lots of x plus 1. If I set this bracket equal to 0 and solve it, I get x equal 3. If I set this bracket equal to 0 and solve it, I get x equal minus 1. So now I'm going to begin with x equal 3. I will substitute x equal 3 back into this equation here. So I've got 10 multiplied by 3, which is 30 plus 2, 32. Equal to. Over here, we have that this term will vanish, it will become 0. And over here, we've got 3 plus 1, which is 4. 4 multiplied by c is 4c. Hence, c is equal to 32 divided by 4, which is 8. Now I'm going to substitute x equal negative 1. So I've got x equal negative 1. 10 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 10, plus 2 is negative 8. Equal to negative 1, negative 3, that becomes negative 4. So minus 4b. And this term over here becomes 0. So if I solve for b, I get 2. So we can now conclude that this fraction over here is identical to 3 plus my b value, which is 2, over x plus 1, plus my c value, which is 8, over x minus 3. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B. Hence, or otherwise, find the series expansion of 3x squared plus 4x minus 7, over x plus 1, x minus 3, where the modulus of x is less than 1. In ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared, give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. Please pause the video, have a go at part B and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. 
So expanding this is the same as expanding this. I'm going to rewrite this expression as 3 plus 2. Bring the bracket up, the x plus 1. So 2 lots of x plus 1 to the power negative 1. And in the same way, the third term can be rewritten as plus 8 lots of x minus 3 to the power minus 1. Okay, so let's take this a step further. We've got 3 plus 2. I'm going to swap these two terms and write it as 1 plus x, power minus 1, plus 8. Swap these two terms and write it as minus 3 plus x, power minus 1. Okay, so now I need to expand this binomial and this binomial using the binomial expansion formula. So, we know that 1 plus x to the power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial, x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 factorial, x cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. So using that formula, let's begin by expanding 1 plus x to the power minus 1. So for this one over here, we're going to be replacing the n in the binomial expansion formula with negative 1, and we keep the x as x. So the first term will be 1, plus the second term will be minus 1 multiplied by x, plus the third term will be minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, over 2 factorial, x to the power 2, dot, dot, dot. So this simplifies to 1 minus x plus x squared, dot, dot, dot. Moving on to the second binomial, so now I'm going to expand minus 3 plus x to the power minus 1. Now, before I expand it, I need a 1 inside the binomial. So I need to take out a factor of negative 3. So inside the curve bracket, I've got um, 1 minus a third x. Close square bracket to the power minus 1. So now I need to apply power minus 1 to the negative 3 and to the bracket. So I've got minus 3 to the power minus 1. 1 minus a third x in bracket to the power minus 1. So minus 3 to the power minus 1 using laws of indices is basically minus 1 over 3. Lots of 1 minus a third x to the power minus 1. Because I've got a 1 inside the binomial, now I can use the binomial expansion formula to expand this one here. So I've got minus a third, open square bracket. For this one over here, in the binomial expansion formula, I'm going to replace the n with negative 1, and I'm going to replace the x with minus a third x. So inside the bracket, I've got 1 plus minus 1 multiplied by minus a third x. Nice. Plus minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 over 2 factorial multiplied by minus a third x squared dot, 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 close square bracket. Okay, so now I can simplify the terms inside, and if I do this, I get 1 plus a third x plus 1 over 9 x squared dot, dot, dot. Expand this with the minus 1 over 3 gives me minus 1 over 3, minus 1 over 9 x, and then minus 1 over 27 x squared dot, dot, dot. Right, so let's go back over here. I've got 3 plus 2 lots of this binomial, which is 1 minus x plus x squared, dot, dot, dot. And then we've got plus 8 lots of this binomial, which is this one here. dot 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 so I can expand this 3 plus 2 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 8 over 3 uh, minus 8 over 9x and then we've got minus 8 over 27 x squared dot 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 so if I simplify this I get the following result 7 over 3 minus 26 
over 9x plus 46 over 27x squared dot 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 and that is the final answer to part b this completes the exam style question if you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post a new teaching video